Over the last few days, I've been obsessively listening to Kanye West's Donda, both as a fan of the music, but also as a music producer. And there's a few techniques on the album that I don't often hear on hip hop tracks. The first technique I'm going to share with you guys can be heard on the synth on his song, New Again. What's up guys, Barry here. And if it's your first time to the channel, we talk about beat making and music production within the machine. So if that's your thing, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. With that said, in today's video, I'm going to share with you a sidechain technique within the machine that's more of a production technique than a mixing technique. When I think of a common functionality of sidechaining, I think of a sound ducking down to a source. So for example, a bass ducking down to a kick, giving more room for the kick to hit in your mix. This technique does that, but also allows you to add rhythm and movement to your sound and puts more emphasis on the sound than the source. For this example, we'll be applying the sidechain to a synth pad from Massive. And we'll be sidechaining it to a kick on group B. From there, all we need to do is put a compressor onto the synth. I personally like to use machine stock compressor for sidechaining as it's super easy to set up, but you can use any compressor as long as it has sidechain functionality, which the majority of them do. Next, you'll want to select your source, and you'll notice that in the drop down menu, one of the sounds are missing. If we head back to group B, you'll see a hi-hat below the kick. And the reason it's not an option as a source is because the output is currently set to none. Switching it to group will not only allow us to hear the hi-hat, but also allow us to see it in our source menu. Which is important to know, as you won't be able to select a source if that source can't send signal to the sidechain. And with that said, let's go ahead and select the kick as our source and give it a listen. And just like that, your synth is pumping to the rhythm of the kick drum. But what if you want that pump while the kick isn't playing? So you'll notice when I muted the kick, the sidechain deactivated, as there was no signal to drive it. From here, you can do one of two things. The obvious option would be to export the synth as audio, capturing the sidechain and allowing the effect to take place even when the kick isn't playing. Although this solves that problem, the limitation with this option is now you've committed your synth to audio and can no longer change the notes, rhythm, or even the character of the massive preset. The second option is a little less obvious, but more effective. It involves you going to the output of the kick drum, aka your sidechain source, and changing its output to none. Doing so will still trigger the compressor, but you'll no longer be able to hear the kick. Looking at the sidechain source, notice how the kick drum remains checked off, but is now grayed out. Now you have total control over your synth and your kick drum. Simply duplicate the kick to an empty pad and arrange its rhythm accordingly. Just make sure you still have MIDI notes triggering your sidechain, which is represented by your original kick on pad 1. If you find your pad clicks every time your chords change and it's not as smooth as you want, you may have to adjust its attack within the VST. Listening to our example without the kick, the click becomes more apparent. So let's go back into Massive and adjust our amp envelope. For this patch, the amp envelope is envelope number 4, but it may differ for your preset and even your synth. Once you find it, adjust the attack so there's no peak. And to get more movement and a slight swell, you can bring up the level of the decay. Going back to the compressor, adjusting the gain knob will adjust the amount of pump. For this, you can consider it somewhat as a wet dry knob for the sidechain. Thank you. 
With this technique, you don't have to limit yourself to sidechaining the kick drum or a simple four on the floor pattern. You can literally sidechain any source and create unique rhythms and movement within your tracks. We'll now change our sidechain source from our kick drum to our hi-hat. I like using hi-hats for faster rhythms because they generally have sharper attacks, but you should experiment with different sources to get different results. With the hi-hat outputs now set to none, let's experiment with different rhythms to give an example of how you can get creative with this ghost source sidechain technique. Alright guys, so that was a side chaining technique that I imagine they use on Kanye West's song New Again off of Donda. With that said, they could have also used an LFO tool to achieve a similar pumping effect, but utilizing this technique allows you to control the rhythm throughout the entire song without having to write any sorts of automation. With that said, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and happy be making. Peace.